The other heavy favorite, speaking of Dalvin, is the Minnesota Vikings. They're favored by 10 and a half against Brandon Allen and the Broncos. Total has gone up one and a half points since open, and the spread actually has increased by half a point, which has brought the Vikings total up to 25 and a half. So same question as with Jacobs. Assuming that Adam Thielen sits, does anybody interest you here outside of Dalvin Cook and the Vikings defense? Um, so outside of Cook, I'd say Diggs, so Stephon Diggs, Irv Smith Jr., and Kyle Rudolph are all somewhat uh, tournament viable. Diggs is kind of hard <clears throat> at 7,300, but Irv Smith Jr. is 4,700. Kyle Rudolph, I know, is your your mortal enemy, but he's 4,500. The, the workload for those two guys hasn't been that bad without Thielen. So, you know, as a huge home favorite, that's when you want to punt at tight end. So, I have a very serious bias against Kyle Rudolph, uh, <laughs> which I feel like I want to disclose. Um, I, again, I try to keep most of my bad takes just to slack, but... Um, he is my mortal enemy um, because I refuse to use him for like the past six years because his maximum receiving yardage would be like 12. Um, but Irv Smith is 47. I think that my I'm wary of my bias influencing me here, but Irv Smith in the four games that Adam, Adam Thielen has basically missed has like 16.8% of the targets. He has six targets in three of those games. He has four red zone targets the past two games. He can get some deep work. I think that Irv Smith at 47 is actually pretty good as a play. Um, so I was encouraged to hear you say that because I know that you don't have a like visceral reaction whenever the thought of using Kyle Rudolph occurs. So I actually think that Irv Smith is a good play too, and I'm glad to be validated in that. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather play Irv Smith because of the athleticism. So. Uh, here are Kyle Rudolph's receiving yardage outputs this year. 0, 9, 11, 12, 4, 36, 58, 17, 23, 14. He has had a max of, well, I guess he had 58 uh, when, when Thielen was basically out for that Detroit game too. But it's Irv Smith for me. Touchdowns yeah. matter, but Irv Smith can get those too. So uh, I think that your hesitance to use Diggs is justified because Chris Harris is going to see him, and that's going to be a pretty tough spot. So His to market me, share still hasn't even been that good. He's at like 21% without right, feeling. You're not, you're not caring too much about Ola B.C. Johnson. Like, you don't care about Laquan Treadwell. Um, actually, I think that Josh Doxson might be returning for the Vikings here pretty soon, um, which is Oh, that's what they needed. Yeah, I mean— another flame out wide receiver from the first round of that, that same draft where they got Laquan Treadwell. So uh, I think it's, it's really Dalvin cook and Irv Smith for me is the main guys who piqued my interest. I will have a non zero number of shares of Kyle Rudolph because I do, I hesitate to build around tight ends. I built around Johnny Smith last week. That went well. Um, it's a very volatile position. So I think that I'll have some Rudolph, but my preferred option is Irv Smith, Dalvin cook, Number two running back, price considered, salary considered on the slate, correct? Yeah. Behind McCaffrey, and that's it. So he's a really good play, and I'm going to have a lot of him. 